Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Hugo and today I'm going to teach you how to create a .NET 4 app to send and receive message using Azure Storage Account Queue. Stay around. Ok guys, so first thing first, we're going to open the browser and we're going to Azure Portal. And we're going to create a, a store account. I'm going to use demo as I used in the other videos, as you can see on the on the list above. And I'm going to use here Oaksilver account. This needs to be unique and someone already took my name. Thank you. So I'm going to write here storage. Oaksilver storage. Okay. So let's proceed. Next. 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 Find, create and review, and create. So this is going to take a while, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we have the resource created. We go into the resource, and we're going to create a queue. And the queue, we need to give a name. But now, what we're going to do is first we're going to download the code that I'm going to leave on the description, which is the app that's going to allow us to send and receive message to the queue. So we're going here to download the zip. So now we have here the, the file unzipped, which is the Azure Core App queue. We're going to double click and we're going to open the project. And here we're going to see two things. One is the queue connection string and the other one is the queuing name. Uh, and this is the name that we're going to use to create on, on our Azure portal. So we double click this, go into the portal, create a queue, and we're going to give the queue name. Okay, now we have the queue name created and we need another thing for our app, which is we go to access keys. You're going to click here on the connection string, going to our project, and we're going to change the, the existing one here. Oops, sorry. In this project, and now, since we have two projects here, one to send and one to receive, we need to go to the receive as well and change the string. Remember that I've done exactly the same thing when we are using uh, on the um, Cosmo DB. So if you want to have a look on how to create a connection string and how to use a Cosmo DB, I have a link above. And you can see that we are using exactly the same uh, method. The connection, the connection string used on the start, storage account. So now let's go deep in the project, what this does. So in the videos, in the video, I mean, uh, what I'm doing, I'm I'm creating a class and this class is going to be random. So I have a few um, names of videos that I've already published on my YouTube channel and I'm going to tell him to pick a list, to pick a random name and to, set, and to create this object. So let's see now in the program, I'm getting what I'm doing here, I'm reading my, my, my connection string, the queuing name that I used to create on the storage account, on the Azure portal, and here I'm telling to create, uh, I'm creating a, a simple uh, cycle for to create random message. So what it's going to do is going to my objects, is going to select a message from the, I think, seven that I have there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, from the seven that I have there, and is going to create that message and send to my queuing system. So now what we're going to do, we're going to run the program, and I have all videos message sent. Okay, so now let's close this. Let's check what we have on the portal. We're going to Stories Explorer, we're going to queues, and here we have four message. So as we can see, we're completely cre randomly created. Actually, we have uh, 
to um, the same message. We have the same message here. What is important is he created uh, individual uh, IDs for it. So I'm creating, I'm generating random messages. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we need to read this message. Very well, so let's change here. Let's go to the code and change here our main project. Let's set this as our main project. And what we're doing here on the project, in this project is exactly the same thing. Make sure that you change the connection string. It's, it's, um, it's reading the message. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing my connection, I'm reading my, my uh, queuing name. And so what I'm doing here is I'm reading all the messages that are in my queue, the number of message. Uh, since I've created, uh, I believe, four, we're going to have four message. So, and he's going to put on this count four. And here, he's going to expose this message into our console app. And one more thing that is important to identify here is he's deleting the message. So, one thing that I don't want him to do is actually to delete the messages. So, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment. So, he won't be deleting the message. One of the reasons why uh, I may not want to delete a message is because I could have several um, systems reading from that message queuing. For example, let's say I have a CRM, I have uh, an uh, Azure app, or um, I have a Logic app reading from that message queuing. And what's going to happen is I want this app, this app and this app to have exactly the same information. So when uh, I need to have uh, a system here that's only when I read a console app or whatever I'm going to delete the message. So let's see what's going to happen here As you can see I have the for message from my queuing system. So now let's go to the portal And we still have here the messages, as you can see. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to order, tell him to delete the message. So let's rerun this again. And is deleted. Let's check this now. F5. Let's go to the queue and doesn't exist anything. One thing to, to bear in mind is when I create a message and I delete, when I read for the first time, he sometimes disappeared from, um, from the, the list. But we need to check here if, there, if we have any message in the queue. To explain you that when the system is reading a queue, he won't, may not be available immediately. So it will take some time to the message to show up. So let's try this now. So I'm going to divide this in two and we're going to select this project again. We're going to hit F5. He sent the message. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the pro select this project again to read the message. So start the project and I'm going to put this here. Oh, first of all, let's check here if we have messages. We do have the four messages. And now we are commenting this part uh, of deleting the queue and let's see what's going to happen. We have five. Let's see what happened here on the queuing system. And all of them disappear. But we see here that it's showing zero of four message in the queue, meaning that the messages are not available at the moment, but they will after a few seconds. And here we are. So he put the message available again. So this is something that we need to have consideration when we're trying to read a message 
from a system and at the same time reading from uh, the system. We need to have this in consideration. Sometimes we won't see the message, but the message is there. And now let's go and delete this once for all. Rerun. Okay. Boom. And now we're gone. Okay, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the, the like button. More videos are coming up every single week. So hit the subscribe to be updated every single time that I release a new video. If you want now, you can pay me a coffee. The link is on the description. This will help me to continue doing videos like this. Thank you and see you around.